G'day, Kent here. This old dunny and installing a new one. All the steps that's involved so that you can do this yourself DIY. Let's get into it. The cool thing is we're here with Lee today, the father-in-law, he's a plumber and he shows us all the tricks on how to get rid of this old dunny. If you want to see that video, it's up in the top right corner of your screen there. But now it's time to install the new one. Each toilet you buy will come with a set of fitting instructions. A few measurements that we need to take, including the height from the floor and how far this outlet is from the wall. Is that for how far it's going to sit in? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Here's the outlet pipe that Lee's going to use. This came with the toilet. He's just going to remove these gaskets and those measurements that we took to find out how long our outlet pipe needs to be. We're now going to dummy fit this into the floor. What's the spray for? Just uh, try and get this to slip on over there. Check that the pipe's level. And then we'll cut it for length. Lee took this outside and just cut it off with an angle grinder. Now we can replace those seals, the rubber seal, and then the plastic cap goes back on. Lee used a little bit of uh, spray soap on these fittings here, just because they're really quite snug. It helps you um, fit them back on. So this one's got an offset Lee tells us about. If need be, you can twist this around because the offset to suit. It gives you a little bit of side to side adjustment. Push it down. It should be 185 off the floor to center. Now he's checking that he's got his height right. From memory, it was 180 to the center of the pipe. That's the height that the outlet comes out the back of the toilet bowl. We want to make sure that the pipe is flush or level. Flush was a pretty appropriate toilet joke. So what's this part do? This part is a support so that it doesn't move when you push the toilet in. You need to cut that off. Uh, with the set of pliers he's um just tweaked it up to the outlet there and that's actually going to hold it in place when you slide the toilet pan or the toilet bowl back into position once again he used a little bit of soap on that rubber seal and this just helps slide the toilet bowl outlet into that rubber seal lee's been a plumber for so many years he doesn't trust his apprentice which is me today now Lee's not making a phone call to the dunny here. He's actually shining his light through the holes where the toilet seat's going to be fitted and he can line up the toilet bowl with the waste and then pushes it back in snug. That bracket holds that outlet in place so it's not going to move when he slides it back in. Bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. Now the most next important thing is to check with water and don't leak. So we get a bucket of water. And it's easier to do it now than later because if there is any leaks we can remedy it before the rest of the toilet's fitted. Looks good to me. Looks very good to me. As I can see, there's no water anywhere before I think. Before we get too carried away we want to find the right inlet hose. Mm -hmm. Your water inlet tends to reach from the tap up to the water tank. And a very important step that's sometimes overlooked with the DIY dunny is that you actually need to tweak these uh, cistern nuts up Use a spanner, make sure they're nice and snug, don't overdo it because they are plastic. But these aren't tightened up in the factory, they're just mock assembled. One's the inlet, and what's the other one? One's the inlet and one's a bung. It's perfect, the inlet's on the left. Just see it, it sits down in there. All as far as read the instructions. These are what holds the system to the toilet. So that goes in the pan. How tight do they need to be? They don't need to be overly tight, tight enough so that when the system tightens down, it holds it in place properly. Yeah. A blunt chisel. It's just a big screwdriver, eh? Now's a good time actually to check that the toilet's level, side to side and front to back. Because otherwise you need little packers to pack it up level. Hand tight first and then... It doesn't need much otherwise you can twist these and then they start leaking. And you'll drop that hose down through the hole there and we know that it's going to reach the water supply tap because he's tested it prior to this point. You know this holds it together. Ah uh, okay. Oh and I've both got rubber washers on them. But we've come across a problem. <laughs> Lee's hands are too big to fit in the toilet to do up these cistern nuts which holds it in place so we have to come up with a plan B which is just to temporarily remove that inlet connection. First one to sit on the dunny. 
How's those big hands going oh, for you? Terrible. Checking that the system is sitting nice and level. It's flush. It's flush. <laughs> so tip a bucket of water into the system. Check around the bolts. All the bolts go through. Right. And then we'll check the flush. Nothing coming out of these sides, out the back. Because it's got the rubber in there, we can believe it'll come out of these big points here. Because mm. it goes into the receiver the toilet. So that's hunky dory. So now we can connect the water. Once we're happy that there's no leaks, we can wrestle in the small space behind the toilet here and try and connect that water inlet hose. We're in such an awkward spot. <laughs> we remember to reattach that inlet connection and then we turn the valve on so that we can test that the tank is filling and stopping where it should. Place the cap on top of the system there and now installing the toilet seat. Um, each brand is probably slightly different, have their own idiosyncrasies and so on. Um, we just followed the instructions that came with this toilet. This one's a nice soft closed toilet seat. And once it's installed, we're just checking that it's straight or exactly where it should be on the bowl. We didn't use these support screws, but we are popping a little bit of silicon in there and the cap's on. Next up, Lee just ran a bead of silicon around the toilet bowl. One of the things we did was changing out the stopcock or the little water tap that supplies water to the toilet. And if you want to see how to do that, or if yours is leaking at home and you need to change it, there's a video just there, you can check it out, and I'll see you there.